so I'm in middle of uh, installing my 20 meter inverted V dipole so what I've done is this is at the bottom there is this one inch PVC pipe and then there is a quarter inch PVC pipe attached to it and uh, it's held together using hose clamps and uh, um, some some strings uh, at the bottom there is a tripod uh, but this is just for the, the uh, temporary testing uh, after which I will install the PVC pipe onto that parapet wall um, here is the centerpiece it's just a 4x4 four four, uh, PVC enclosure it's waterproof and um, uh, there's a SO239 at the bottom and there are wing nuts at the side the wire cut is a little more than 5 meters on each side uh, and I have tested this uh, last evening the SWR was around 2.3 2.4 but right now the length of each dipole leg is approximately quarter of a meter higher than what it's supposed to be so i'm getting the resonant point at around 13.5 13.7 so um it was dark yesterday so now i'm i'm started i've started the work and today hopefully it will be completed this over here is the north side uh, actually a little bit over here is the north side and then here is the south side that's the east you can see the sun rising there it's around eight o'clock and on the opposite side that's the west so this is the position I want it uh, to be oriented uh, in in this way because I would like to uh, receive from uh, European side and also from the southeast side so that's why the orientation is uh, not east and uh, a little towards east and uh, south west so that's how I'm going to orient it so uh, this becomes north east and this becomes uh, southwest so uh, I will come back in a minute or so after installing and uh, I'll show the process in between. Uh, we'll check using Nano VNA again and uh, try and adjust it uh, closer to a good SWR, closer to one, and uh, try and get close to the 50 ohm uh, impedance. Uh, see you in a minute. Okay, so I've uh, erected the antenna and uh, you can see here I don't know if the reflections are making it possible to see but I will uh, comment anyway uh, you can see the SWR at 14.150 is uh, right now 1.69 um, and uh, the impedance is around 79 so still uh, I think uh, there is a scope of uh, reducing the length um, also I can adjust the angles uh, neatly yeah so you can see the angles so the left hand side angle is uh, good the right hand can be extended a bit and uh, it can be made equal but the main thing right now is to get uh, the the length correct first and uh, to check so we are we are close now 
uh, right now it's on tripod uh, then it will be fixed on the wall so till I adjust uh, the lens and the angles correctly so I'll be back uh, after adjusting the length so this is the view from the bottom on one side uh, and the other wire goes down and gets attached here so you see this this is the wire there so maybe I can shift this wire a little further which will increase the angle on the left hand side and this seems to be okay this angle seems to be okay so first I have to cut the lens I'll be back after that so I cut the length from each side by uh, 0.1 meters and you can see that now the SWR at 14.150 megahertz is 1.2 um, and the uh, impedance has uh, reduced a little bit also so it's right now showing 69 70 uh, now uh, I am right now at the lens that I had calculated uh, which is 5.3 meters uh, but I think uh, I need to further cut so that uh, the SWR will further go down and the impedance value will also further go down towards 50 uh, so I will come back again after doing the same uh, things are looking good I started with SWR of 3 and then went on reducing the lens of each leg and uh, uh, checking with uh, nano VNA I was checking the SWR values I was checking the impedance and uh, I'm right now at 1.5 so a little bit more uh, if I cut the lens uh, by 0.1 meters or 0.2 meters it would be uh, very close uh, to 1 and then I can fix the pole to the wall and uh, hopefully I will be able to have a good reception and good transmission so be back in a minute or so okay here it is after cutting the wire further by 0.1 meters right now at 14.150 megahertz the SWR is 1.23 uh, let me quickly check the impedance value also uh, just a sec here it is uh, so at 14.150 megahertz the SWR is 1.24 and the impedance is 55 I think I will stop here I will not play with it more uh, because the entire range uh, looks okay so let me just quickly take it to the start of the band uh, and let's see how much it is it is around 1.09 which is good at start of the band and then on uh, the other side it is around 1.45 which is okay I think I'm happy with it um, I can probably do more but I, I, I don't think so I, I will leave it there I'm happy with this um, arrangement now next step will be to attach the pole to the wall and then check once again maybe there will be a minor difference and hopefully that difference would be in my favor so uh, I will now do the fixing of the pole and come back later okay I have uh, mounted the antenna on the wall I have given it a little bit of support at the bottom using some stone bricks and uh, I have kept the upper part a little bit flexible so that it can compensate for a little bit of a wind 
and I've tried both the antenna legs uh, on each side the left one is at the first floor and the right one is at the ground floor so and also I have uh, I have uh, connected guy wires uh, for support uh, for the lower section of the antenna uh, or the lower section of the PVC pipe uh, so let's go and check out uh, the SWR the final SWR uh, on Nano VNA. Uh, just give me one second. I have connected it. So, moment of truth. Uh, let me just quickly connect. Okay. Okay. Uh, here it is. Right now at 14, it is 1.5. Uh, as I go the middle of the band 14.5 uh, let's see 14.5 it is 1.25 and on the other side okay it goes to 1.19 at 14.234 and the other side is around 1.22 so not bad 1.4 to 1.22 and the center is around 1.25 uh, I think I think uh, I'm going to go with this uh, I'm happy with it uh, so yeah the, hopefully I will be able to have uh, good Q QSOs and looking forward to it Thanks for watching.